Okay. Now we will try to understand how to write the stress components on an elementary volume of solid. And this is that elementary solid. And uh, now let us try to understand how to write the elemental stress components on. Now let us try to understand the stress components on an elemental volume of solid. Now this is a cube. Okay. These are the axes on in which the cube rests and this is the origin x axis y axis and z axis now these planes are the mid planes of the cube okay now and this is the z mid plane why because it is perpendicular to z axis and this is the y mid plane and uh, similarly this is the x mid plane ok now identify the centers of faces these are the centers of the face Okay. Now this plane is the X plane and this plane is the Y plane. This plane is the Z plane. Okay. Now there are normal stresses acting on each face. It's along the x direction. It is sigma x, and that normal stress along the negative x direction is sigma x. Okay. Both are equal in magnitude because the body is under equilibrium ok we have in the z direction sigma z and another sigma z we have sigma y and sigma y ok now there are shear stresses now if you consider the the positive faces are this one, this one and the front face. Okay, well the positive faces are the front one, the top one and the right side one, this one. Okay, so on this face, the point where the stress is acting is this, this and this. Okay, on these faces, the positive directions are one is this and the other two are this. Now, let us consider one face at a time, one plane at a time, consider the x mid plane and in the x mid plane, which one is the x mid plane here, this is the x mid plane. So if we write this, the x mid plane looks like this the points on this plane are these so this would be sigma y mm, sigma y and then sigma z and sigma z okay so now the positive direction the positive uh, directions are uh, this one and now uh, this one positive along the positive y axis and along the positive Z axis. Okay. Now, if you consider this force, this is the midpoint. Okay. This force is this is a shear stress. Okay. And to counterbalance this, there should be an equal and opposite shear stress here. Okay. But these two, in effect, are trying to rotate the member. Okay. Like this. 
This one should be counterbalanced by a shear stress equal and opposite at this point, and this rotates this in the opposite direction. Come on. Okay. Now, we consider the Y midplane. Which is square here. points where it is matching are these this will be sigma x and sigma x sigma z and sigma z so the point positive directions are, are this one and this one and Similar to this analogy, this needs to be accompanied by an equal and opposite shear stress here, and that these two result in a, res, uh, tend to turn the body like this, and this one and this one turn the body in the opposite direction. Okay, so since our body is in an equilibrium, these two couples must be equal and opposite. Okay, under this situation if we consider an axis of symmetry here our material is being pulled in this direction and in this direction so the resultant is like this hmm? so this body this edge contracts and this diagonal expands so the new positions positions okay. similarly in this case if we want to consider the deformation it will be like this consider the diagonal the resultant is acting like this and like this so this so the extensional force is this and the extension of the diagonal occurs here and the contraction occurs here. So this is how the deformed body will look like. And consider the Z midplane. And this is the undeformed. The dotted lines represent the undeformed. 